Hey everybody, welcome back to Prince's Friend Exploring Music Through Prince. And today I kind of wanted to just have a discussion uh, and answer one of those questions that I get quite often, and that is, what is my top 10 Prince songs? But mostly, we're not gonna, I'm gonna talk about a couple of my really, really big favorites here, but I don't really have a top 10 Prince list, and there's a reason for that. So obviously, if you like us around here and what we do and you like having discussions like this, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, so you always know when Prince's Friend puts out a new video. Also consider either becoming a patron or a YouTube member. Both of those helps us out immensely and has been very helpful during these trying times uh, to help us kind of keep going. And uh, just thank you, just thank you so much. So with that said, we've done quite a few top 10 lists on this channel, haven't we? Even just the most recent top 10 inspirational songs, but we've done top 10 dirty songs, top 10 sexy songs, top 10 political songs, love songs, funky songs, party songs. I mean, we've done it all kind of about this. And there's a reason why I decided to go that route of top 10 fill in the blank songs versus top 10 just songs because i feel like in prince's catalog and his career i feel like he hits so many different beats so it's hard for me to say that one song from prince is necessarily definitely better than another song now if you said hey we're looking specifically at political songs where i can go well this one's definitely more political than the other and i kind of dig it more so i'll put it higher on a list but that still doesn't mean that that song is necessarily better than that song. In terms of like, say, the top 10 breakup songs list that we did, it, the number one song is not necessarily better than the number 10 song on that list. But for me, I felt like it fit the bill more than the other songs and it had more impact. And there's reasons why and different things that you can think about on a spectrum. But I get a lot of questions about like, what are my favorite Prince songs? and what are my best albums and like you should just do it that way. That's why I'm not doing Prince's top 10 albums because I also feel like each album kind of fits within its own paradigm. Like it's its, its own thing. That's why when somebody suggested doing top five off of each album, well that I can do. That it's like, it's kind of within the same paradigm with in the same thought process that Prince had. And then you can just compare the songs within that area to each other, as opposed to comparing something from 1978 to something from 2016. Like the comparison, it's not even like comparing apples to oranges, because I compare apples to oranges all the time, but it's like comparing the ocean to a building. Like, which one is better? One's the ocean, the other one's a building. And it's just like, I mean, they're, they're both pretty cool and they, but they're very, very different. But just to kind of answer the question of what are some of my favorite Prince songs and Prince albums, uh, again, I'm not ranking them because these are just really my personal favorites. And from many discussions that I've had with friend of the channel, Chris Lacey, a bunch, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely an adamant person about the difference between favorite and best. So like for me, I can tell you what my favorites are, but that doesn't necessarily make uh, anything better necessarily than another thing. So in terms of songs, uh, I would think that some of my very, very favorite songs uh, they're ones that we talk about here quite a bit. <laughs> um, musicology is amazing. Uh, Mountains is wonderful. Uh, you Know from Artificial Age, probably my favorite song off of that album. Uh, but those those three songs just right there are really, really great. You know, if I wanted to bring in some more of my like all-time favorite Prince songs, Free Yourself is amazing. That one was just on the last list. But also I love Cyber Single, and I've honestly just fallen in love with Adonis and Bathsheba. So that's kind of the thing with Prince and why I feel like it's hard to answer the question of what was Prince's best song because honestly there's so many songs that I've never heard and even as deep as I am in it and as many bootlegs and all that stuff that I have I feel like it's part of the exploration of Prince and having this channel it's one of the best parts about it is because while I'm doing my research and I'm talking about Prince and I'm learning about things I find new songs that I've never heard and I've been listening to Prince for over 30 years and I'm like so there's a song that I've never heard that's ridiculous and I'm saying like songs that have been out there that I had never heard <laughs> not even ones that like they're only now releasing from the vault because now they're, this is the first time that they're coming out but there are songs that I had never heard before like just over a year ago I had first heard Hot Summer 
you know, like, uh, it, like I was like, whoa, that song's amazing. It had Shelby J on it and everything. And, you know, that's kind of the beauty of being a friend here is that we have the honor of having so, so much for us. And I think that there's so much that I don't think we'll ever hear it all. I know that there's a lot of people, and I get the comments all the time, they're like, hey, I'm old. They better get on releasing all this music. <laughs> but you know, it's funny, as, as a singer-songwriter myself now, uh, more news on that coming later, I have found that there are days where I'll write two or three songs. And they might not be complete songs, but they're like really strong ideas. Prince has been said, and I don't know how true it is, to write at least a song a day. And that he had the ability to record something you know, regardless of what room he was in. If he got an idea, he hit record and he'd hum it, whatever, so he could come back to it. I mean, so there's like so many things about Prince recording and having so many songs that like, it's hard for me to say what song is my favorite today. I can tell you what my favorite is today, it's You Know. But that doesn't mean that once Sign of the Times Deluxe comes out, I have a new different favorite song. You know, it's like, it's funny. So what I like to do is I do like to talk about Prince within certain scopes. Uh, it's kind of why the discussion of what's the best songs to bring people into Prince's music, I say, what are they into? That's when you start kind of, you know, if they're in the rock, let's go with these songs. If they're in the R&B, let's go with these songs. That's the best way to introduce somebody to Prince is to show them that Prince can be whatever they want to listen to in any given moment. If they're into jazz, if they're into rock, if they're into R&B, if they're into sultry songs, if they're into exciting motivational songs, if they're into funk, if they're into just everything. He does everything. With all of that said, obviously I have some favorite albums. You can kind of see from the list there of the songs that I like, they kind of mirror some of the favorite albums. Musicology, favorite album. Artificial Age, favorite album. Uh, the Gold Experience used to be my number one for the longest time until Musicology, And then when Musicology uh, was my favorite for a while until um, Artificial Age came out. But Love Sexy is a banger. Like, oh my gosh, that one is so high up on my list. Again, I don't even know where I would put that because I love Love Sexy so much. So there is a larger discussion to have here in terms of what is best best versus favorite and everything. But what I like to do is I try to look at Prince through these small microcosms. What are some of his most underrated songs? What are some of the songs where he tells the best stories? That's what I love. So what I would like to hear from you guys in the comments is what's been your favorite top 10 list that we've done so far? And what other ideas for other top 10 lists do you have? I still have a few stored up, obviously, and some part twos that I want to do, and possibly part threes to some of these that we've already done two parts to. But I want to know what it is that you guys want to see in terms of these top 10 lists. I'm going to keep doing them because they're so much fun to put together. So let me know about all of that down in the comments. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and also don't forget to hit all notifications on that bell. And with all of that said, may you live to see the dawn. I love you all. I'll see you in the next video.